What's up guys, Butt Voss here, and as you guys see, we got ourselves Jadeveon Clowney, limited time that is in packs right now. So, he's the new Mutt Hero limited time that came out. We got ourselves some house rules, and also, we got ourselves some more Mutt Heroes. So right now, we're going to hop right into it and take a look. We got ourselves Joe Batonio and Saquon Barkley. He's finally in the game. Saquon is here, ready to go. And as you guys see, though, he's going to take 20. So it's going to be a little more expensive if anybody wants to get him. And you already completed your house rules and your souls. Which, by the way, my goal is to have both of those done by tomorrow. That's going to be my goal, though, to get both of them done. House rules and the solos. House rules I'm almost done with. The solos, I have a little bit more to do. But that's what I'm hoping I can get done. Anyway, we got those Kyle Fuller from the Bears and J.J. Watt from the Texans. Both these guys, we got those two big stars right now that are in here. So right now, we're going to go look and see and check out the stats and find out if they're good or not. So right now, let's go take a look. Like I said, we got some new heavyweights as well. I think I know where the heck they are, though. I didn't really look into them because, um, what was it? I missed the stream, so I wasn't sure. I'm pretty sure I can figure them out, though. Let me take a look around. One of them right here. Here they are. They're right over here. So we got... Emmanuel Agba. I didn't even know he played for the Chiefs. I don't know him as a Brown. He has 83 speed, 89 tackles, 77 strength, 78 block shit, 84 power move, 71 finesse move, 90 play, play rec with 86 excel. I'm going to compare him right now to Julius Peppers. And he looks a lot better than Julius. So maybe we can, if somehow we can get him, that'd be good. The only thing I don't like about this card is that his strength is terrible. But pretty much you just switch uh, finesse move and power move. Or maybe we'll just find another left end. Who knows? I like Julius Peppers, though, because he makes plays. Well, we'll see. Marquis Pouncey, 88 strength, 91 awareness, 83 pass block, 86 pass block power, 83 pass block finesse, 84 run block, 85 run block power with 84 run block finesse. Comparing that to Kevin Mawai. And Mawai is just so much better. This card came out. He's not even done. We're, I am going to have him done, so he will be a lot better. But he that's just showing how much better he is. Right now, we're going to look at the new Mud Heroes while I'm looking for them as well. If you guys want to see me open up packs for this limited time clowning, my usual goal for the video is just for five likes. That's normally all I ask. And if you guys want to see it, let me know. So right now, here he is, Saquon Barkley. Everyone's been waiting for this card to come out. So we had the 83 for the longest time. And he's finally here. 89 speed, 90 XL, 93 agility. And man, I love when that happens. 92 carrying, 74 catching, 86 elusiveness, 80 trucking with 93 break. I'm going to compare him right now to Gale Sayers. And this card's going to be a beast. When you power up, he's got 90 speed, 91 XL, 94 agility, 93 carrying, 75 catch, 87 elusiveness, 81 trucking with eight, uh, 94 break tackle. I think him and get, uh, Gale Sayers are, are the two best running backs right now in the game. So if you can get either one of them, I would say go for it. And let's see, who else we got? Kyle Fuller, his alternate sentence, so I can't look there yet. Here's J.J. Watt, 73 speed, 78 excel, 92 strength, 91 tackle, 92 play rec, 88 power move, 84 block shit with a 7 finesse move. We're going to compare him right now to Julius Peppers. And now the more I'm looking at these guys, the more I'm debating. Because obviously, though, the one I'm picking is Jalen Ramsey. That's without a question. But it's made me sit here and think, should I get a different position? Should I get like a left end or something? I don't know, because Watt looks really, really good. We got Joe Batonio. He has 83 strength, 88 awareness, 92 block uh, pass block, 90 pass block power, 87 pass block finesse, uh, 82 run block, 78 run block power with 83 run block finesse. This is more of a passing guard compared here right now to Quinn Nelson. I also have no problem, though, with Quinn Nelson. He plays very well for me. So it comes to him in blocking because he hasn't got that 93 strength. I have no problem with it because it does show. And then you have Kyle Fuller, 89 speed and excel with 87 agility, 88 jumping, 86 pass, uh, pass block, what am I saying? 86 play rec, 85 man, 93 zone with 84 press. Here we go, Bam, out to Xavier Howard, Jalen Ramsey, and Marshall Lattimore. My only thing, though, is that I can see him more as a maybe like a slot guy because he is a little bit shorter. But 
compare like at least from my scheme because I have Xavier Howard, who's six one, is fast and has good coverage. Same thing with Jalen Ramsey. But I don't know how we use Kyle Fuller. Just to me though, I think I use him in the slot. That's just my opinion. And right now we're gonna go to the ninety two ninety threes and take a look at Jadeveon Clowney. What's his cheapest right now actually? And he's actually going for cheaper than Aaron Donald. I wonder why. Probably because Aaron Donald's like a bigger name or something, but He's got 85 speed, 88 excel, 82 strength, 84 tackle, 91 play rec, 90 power move, 80 finesse move with A7 block shed. Compare him to LT. Not This card's not that bad. But what I like though about LT, yes, his play rec and block shed's a little bit lower, especially his play rec. But LT, I feel like more this is more of a pure pass rusher, especially compared to Clowney, because Clowney also is a pass rusher, but I feel like he would be more of a D end. Than just a pass rusher. That's my opinion. I'm just trying to look and see if there's any extra stats. As we got A6 tackle pit 84. He has way more jumping. So we can get that leapfrog one. Who knows? But let's see. He has 88 impact block compared to A7. Like I said though. He has 94 pursuit compared to 90. When it comes to some of these stats. Right now though. They're not that bad. Also the coverages are. I expect them both to be bad because... Like I said, they're both pass like pass rushers. But if you take a look right here, LT has more hit power than Clowney, comparing 87 to 83. So that's just me. I stick with LT. If you guys are a Seahawks fan or a Texans fan or even just a Clowney fan, I would say go get him. But he's 2 mil right now. So if you want to try your luck, I say go for it. That, Like I said, though, I would do the same thing. You guys are in a, the requirement. I already told you. But... Before I get on out of here, I just want to show you guys quick though my house rules. I only have 12 so far out of 35. I'm going to try and get that done tonight because these games actually do go by kind of quick. But I had to go out last night. I had some family business to do. So it was nothing bad though. It was like for my aunt's birthday. That's really it. Nothing more, nothing less. And really that was it with that. But I will have it done. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter. My link will be in the description below. Hope you guys have a great day. Make sure you guys turn on the bells so you guys know whenever I post a new video. And I'm out.